After silver in 2016, missing gold by one point, and a bronze in 2018, Campbell worked overtime during the pandemic to ensure he would have been able to add the elusive gold to his cabinet. But, as fate would have it, he repeated the 2016 performance in the men's physique category. Though disappointed with the result, Campbell said he's fully aware of where the improvement lies after he had discussions with the judges. At the banquet, we always try to interact with the judges. Uh, I spoke with the head judge. He said, everything on me is on point. Uh, my stage presence, my V taper, uh, my conditioning. He just said, I should just get a little wider at the top. The guy who won, he was a bit wider than I was. But um, it's okay. It's always great to get a critique and that feedback from the judges to learn and, from, and to go, grow from strength to strength. And um, I'm right there, like I said, I'm right there. I just need to improve in certain little facets of my physique. And I'm my biggest critic. And I, I, I immediately when I came off stage, I was like, why did I lose? I mean, I put in so much work. I did, I did everything that I could. I left it all out there. But um, the judges' feedback is always uh, great for me. He said, get a little wider, get a little bigger. And I have a lot of more room for improvements. I have a little, a lot more room to get bigger and wider. And I feel if I put on five to ten more pounds of quality muscle, it, I would be undisputed. There will be no uh, comparisons, close comparisons. It will definitely be a gold medal within uh, physique. The push for gold is now shifted to the fortnight edition, which will be held in Barbados next year. For me personally, I was disappointed in my second place finish once again. I really thought that I brought a package whereby it, when it was displayed, it was better than the other competitors. Uh, I thought I did my best. I was, I was very, very well conditioned. I was, good. I was well rounded. I had good stage presence. Um, I was aesthetic. I was confident. But like I said, it's, it's up to the judges. I placed second again. But it's not that I play second to the guy who didn't win overall. The guy who won in my category, who won a gold medal, he won overall. He got his pro card. So it shows that I'm right there, you know, um, consistently knocking on the door of a pro card. It was just a mere one point or two points away from me getting a pro card. But um, with that being said, all in all, it was a learning experience for me and the rest of the team. We did our best, we did the cardio, we did the lifting, we did the diet, I did a lot of sprints. Um, I came in well, this is the best package I ever had and I can't complain. Campbell's success was one of two medals with a six member team. As Rosanna Fung in her debutant performance caught bronze in her Miss Bikini at her CAC Games. Multiple CAC gold medalists Corwin Clark did not medal, so to Roger Calenda, Raul Green, and Yannick Grimes. Being a Guyanese, as you would know, I will have a bias towards my fellow athletes, but this is not a bias. To me, Corwin should have placed in the top three. To me, Yannick should have placed in the top three. Uh, for Roger, and I didn't get to see Roger and um, Raul's performance. But seeing those guys backstage, they look really well, and I thought they they were uh, had podium worthy uh, physiques. But with that being said, it's a subjective sport. We were in a country that was littered with Spanish speakers. Even the judges, all the judges, the people backstage, everything was being announced in Spanish. It was this this event is called Central America and Caribbean. But it seemed as though everything was about all for Central America. It's like we, 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 we were, we were, we had a stock deck against us, so to speak. But uh, with that being said, all of the guys, they're determined to come back stronger and, and be on the podium once again. After CSC in Barbados next year, it will move to Aruba in 2023, then Guyana in 2024. For the newsroom, Akin Green.